Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Ironized yeast presents Lights Out, everybody. My name, Arch Oboy. All my life, I, even of you, have been fascinated by stories of the unusual, by stories of suspense, by stories of the world of the future, and of the dark mysteries of the past. Tonight, through the sponsorship of the makers of Iron Eyes Eve, we bring you a new series of plays that I have written dedicated to all of you who like to think that perhaps there are other worlds beyond this very mad one of ours. And now meet Mr. Bob Lamont, our announcer, who will tell you more of what is to come. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in the weeks to come, we will bring you the thrills and chills of stories of imagination. And we tell you calmly, but very sincerely, that these will not be stories for those who frighten easily and permanently. But if you want relief for just a little while before facing the problems of today, then listen while we tell you from week to week of this world and other worlds. Of these times and the ages to come. Of the dead and the undead. So now, Mr. Obler, what's the title of the story for tonight? Title? We'll tell you that at the end of the story. For reasons you'll quickly discover. Anyway, the title has no importance. This is a story that touches on the supernatural. And no matter how calm you may feel at the moment, Perhaps soon you won't be quite so calm. Yes, there's uh, something mighty awe-inspiring about the supernatural. But you know, plain facts can be pretty startling, too. For instance, think of the thousands of Americans who are miserably thin and nervous and run down, often because they're simply not getting enough vitamin B and iron from their food. If that's true of you, friends, then I urge you in all sincerity, try ionized yeast tablets. They're so easy to take, and they've worked wonders for thousands of people who only needed more vitamin B and iron. Help them gain glorious new pep and strength, and five, ten, even more pounds of good new flesh. Remember, that's the one and only ironized yeast tablet. Now, light out. I got another one. Now this farmer had a daughter. Oh, 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 You want to drive it? Go on. It must drive itself. Well, sweetie pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Till the rain stops. Well, uh, what if it rains all the way down to Mexico? You stop. Oh, gee. They've still got a nice set of tires on there. Yeah. That's one thing about that ex husband of mine. Kept everything he had in perfect condition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me? Check your face. Um, I wonder if they'll follow us. Oh, you do? Same. Follow us. What for? He got the divorce, didn't he? Anyway, how's he going to follow me? When that judge got through paying me off alimony, there wasn't enough left in the account for Sam to buy roller skates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Sure. I'm going places. He ain't. He's stuck with the kids. Yeah. 
Oh. Look up ahead. Yeah. That's the first thing on wheels we've seen on this road since noon. Hey, what kind of a truck is that? I don't know. Isn't that eyes like an eagle? No, a wolf. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll catch up to him. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe you better not pass it. Why not? You'll be looking truck. Maybe army. Are you kidding? No, I mean... Go on. Do you think that's all them army guys got to do? You think about sticking out their hands and asking, Hey, where's your death card? <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, Frank. <laughs> oh. You're just needling me, huh? <laughs> now, Millie, lay off. I told you before, no more of that draft stuff. That looks if right, you I want think... a chin hero in a uniform, you got the wrong guy, Frank, baby. The truck is no, the... draft boy's roping me. No, sir. Frank. I'm getting so far away. They Frank, will you listen to... to me? Truck ahead. Look. Huh? Oh. Okay. I don't. Danger. I'll explode you. The minute I saw the red color of it, I knew it was something. So what? Yeah, pass him up. Oh, you know me. All right, all right, get over there, get over. Look at the guy, stay right in the middle. Come on, come on, one side. Yeah, is he safe or something? How do you yeah. like that guy? Hog in the middle of the road. Who does he think he is? Get over. Hey, you. Go on. Get the pants off me. What do you mean? Go on. Cut around him. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not loading the dynamite. He is. Well, you're going to follow him all the way? Cut around the shoulder. You've got room. Okay. Get over there, you big bum. Shove over. I'm coming through. Frank, look out. <laughs> Yeah. Run us off the road. The guy loaded with dynamite. He tries to run us off the road. Yeah. Millie, what's the matter with you? What are you just looking like that for? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew what was the first one. But it was your idea of passing him up. So he's going on ahead of us. So what? <laughs> See what? What? The driver of the truck. He didn't have a face. All right. All right, I've heard you once. I've heard you a hundred times. Now, let's not talk about it anymore. Go on. Go on, take another drink. Bottle's empty. Well, there's another one in the black suitcase. Reach back. I don't want any more. Okay, then. Now, what's going on ahead? The road's clear. We're on our way, so forget it. <laughs> Without a face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Sure. <laughs> What's the matter, baby? See, see, seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the song they sing over the radio. I ain't got nobody. Have <laughs> <laughs> baby, have baby, laugh it off. Nothing's going to spoil our fun, huh, Frank? You telling me? Once we get over the border. Oh. <laughs> what? Look ahead, the truck. What? It's there again. I see it. I got eyes. But it's that truck. The what? I've been going fast. I, I'm caught up with it. This time I will pass oh, it. No, Frank. What do you mean, no? Four lane road? You can't block me off this time. Frank, don't turn off. You're talking about. Another road. We'll take another road. This one's the shortest one. I'm staying right on this. I'll leave that guy standing still. What's the matter? The engine is. It... No. No, that's all right. See, how you like that? It was almost up to him. If the engine would have. Now I'll pass that buggy. Frank, what 
What's the matter with this car? There. It's all right again. Well, how do you like that? The second time in a row. Just when I was going to pass him, the engine cuts out. Let him go. Huh? What do you mean, let him go? Ah, there. It's okay. This time I will get around. Yes, pass him up. I want you to pass him up. I will. I'll be your son of a... happened again? You're telling me? Say, what kind of a car did that husband of yours have anyway? This thing's crazy. Just when I'm going to pass him up, the engine cuts out. When I fall behind, it's all right. Something wrong with the engine? Sure, sure. What do you think I've been talking about? Well, I've had my belly full. You mean we'll go some other way? I told you this is the shortest road. Ah, look. Down grade. Now I'll do it. What? Pass him going on down here. Oh, no. If you think I'm going to follow behind the dynamite truck the rest of the day, you're crazy. But, Frank... What's the matter with you? First you want us to pass him, and then you don't. He's going downhill in gears. I'm catching up to him as if he was standing still. Look out! He's cutting to the left! So what? I'll pass him on the right. All right, you roadhog and buzzard. Pull over there. Pull over. I'll knock your ears back on you. Frank, what is it? Why did you stop? Frank! Didn't you see? I had my eyes. I was scared. I kept them shut. Frank, what is it? The truck. The driver. Frank, you saw what I thought. The face. No. No, I didn't. No. I'm sure as if it's sitting here. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. Uh-huh. There's nobody driving that truck. Jess, nobody. long we're just going to sit here. Frank, I'm talking to you. I don't even know what to think. I don't even know. Frank, before, when I thought I saw something goofy in that truck, you, that I was seeing things. Huh? Well, maybe you did too. I mean, the rain, and you both are nervous and jumpy, so maybe it was just seeing things. Yeah. Seeing things. Yeah, maybe that's it. Oh, then let's get going, will you? Let's sit here in the car, in the rain. Let's get moving. Okay. You know something? What? I feel okay now. If what you pour down, you ought to. Goofy. That's what it was. Plain goofy. A crazy truck driver tries to block us off, and I see things. You see things. <laughs> Goofy. That's what it is. Yeah. Rain is sure making it dark fast, huh? You know what I'm going to do? What? The next crossroads, I'm going to turn off. But you said So I changed were... my mind. Cut to the right, and the next road going south will take. Frank. What? What if they stop us? Who? The cops. Oh. The border patrol, whoever they got guarding the border. I told you, that guy will meet us at no galleys, and for 200 bucks, he'll show us a way. Don't you ever listen to me? All right, all right. Dirty truck driving buzzard. I never want to see a red truck again as long as I live. Red. Yeah. Once we get over the border, we'll paint it red all the way down to South America. Hey, baby. Yeah. That's what I want. Fun the rest of my life. I told you. Oh, the goes then. Hey! <laughs> well, I think I was man used to worry about these tires. Ah, uh, that chump. Patriotic duty to save him, he said. I'll bet you he had an American flag embroidered on his chest. <gasps> oh, Frank! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, you make me forget anything. <laughs> How far do we go this way? I told you. Next road, we'll swing back south and... Frank. Let's see. 
Hast du das Ding? What are you doing? Why are you pulling up behind me? I'm gonna wait. Wait? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride past him again, do you? Then what? We'll wait. Just wait. Dark. Just sitting here. Right. Frank, is there somebody in that truck? There must be. Who, Frank? Who? The death compartment. Open. Huh? I'll give it to What? Nice. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna find out who that guy is up there and why once and for all. Come on. Uh. Come on, come with me. Oh, no. You come with me. My arm. Come on. I'm telling you, I've had about all I can take. Stop dragging me along. I'll tell that guy. Hard us off the road. Fall into a place let we go. go. I'll I'm tell him. Wet. Let go of me. I don't want to go up there. Let go of me. All right, mister. All right, come on out of there. You see, Millie? There is a guy driving. Come on, you. Get out of there. All right, I'll drag you out. Come on, open that door. Climb down out of there. All right, I'll open it for you. Oh, oh no! Ladies and gentlemen, while we catch our breath before the second half of tonight's Lights Out story, I want you to hear a true story that happened to Mr. Charles Kranz of Detroit, Michigan. Mr. Kranz, who simply needed more vitamin B and iron, writes, I work in one of the large defense plants here. Not long ago, they put me on the third shift, which means working nights and sleep in daytime. I wasn't used to this, couldn't get my regular sleep in the daytime. I also lost my appetite. One of my fellow workers told me to try ironized yeast, which I did. Now I get my regular sleep and talk about appetite. I'm always hungry. Thanks to ironized yeast, I've gained about seven pounds. Thank you, Mr. Cram. And friends, if you are miserably thin and nervous and run down, remember this. Authorities say, when you don't get enough vitamin B and iron from your daily food, you may lack appetite, not eat enough to maintain normal weight and strength. And when you don't get enough iron from your food, you may be weak and pale and blistered. Ironized yeast tablets give you both vitamin B and iron. They cost but a few pennies a day. So if you simply need more vitamin B and iron to feel better, look better, really enjoy life once again, ask your druggist for the one and only ironized yeast tablet with IY on the package and on each tablet. And now back to light. The red truck has disappeared in the distance, but the man and woman sit there in the moving automobile with a frightening beyond words. While around them, the rain beats down in the rain. Heavy. Heavy. Stop crying. Stop crying, I tell you, stop it! Fine. That's all. Keep moving. We don't need to be so far. We don't. No. First house we turn to will stop. Sure. See? Let's see the slide again. Simple. Simple. People will help you, Frank. Anybody will help you. No. Look at that. Car. I can see a car. Not for miles. As long as we don't see him. It's all right. No truck could keep up with us as fast as we've been going. He could. No, no. He's going driving. Driving. You hear me? That'll be that. 
I'm, you're more scared than I am. Shut up. Look. What? No. No, we're still at home on the road. Lift up your face. Look, see on the horizon? The lights? Oh, I'll bet you that's no guy. Oh, right. Sure. Sure. I want you to get there. It'll be all right. Are you sure, Frank? Sure, sure. Lights. People. That's it. That's what you need. Yeah. I don't want to sleep tonight. Huh? You said I don't want to sleep tonight. If I close my eyes, I'll sleep. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. I got to talk about it. Yeah, I'll talk about it now and then. I'll get it all off from inside me and I won't think about it anymore. Shut up, I tell you. You've got, you got to tell me. You talk. What I saw was it really. Shut up! You blasted woman, shut up! <laughs> Oh, no, now what are you crying about? Well, you know. So what kind of my kid for what? For you to yell at me? Okay. Okay, okay, forget it. Look. Lights in the skies. Getting brighter. Oh, we're getting closer, all right. No. What? Car headed. Did you see? What are you talking about? There's nothing there. I saw. There, I saw it again. Daylight. So what? It's another car. We're getting nearer town. That's swell. That's what we want, ain't it? Another car, people. That's what we want. Frank! Truck. No. Last you shut up. Jimmy, you gotta give me a chance to think. <laughs> all right, all right, go on, go on and cry your busted eyes out. I'll get out of this. I will. The rain stopped. Like I said, the town. No, no inside get there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ditch you. You hear that, Millie? I'm gonna ditch you. Sure, sure, all that's happened has been up there. It's you that brought it on. You're just a hoodoo to me. Get rid of you and I'll get rid of him up ahead. <laughs> go on. Go on, go on. Cry, cry. Who cares? I'm ditching you, baby. And there's nothing you can do about it. Here. Follow him. Get the town. You won't get the town. He couldn't. But I will. And then out you go, baby. You dirty rat. Nah. You take your car and go right back to me, baby. Once we get to no galleys, I don't want any part of it or you. Hey, look. Gone. What? The truck ahead. Gone. Put on spot. Yeah. Yeah. Gone, just like that. <laughs> the minute I even talk about getting rid of you, it's gone. You walk. Yeah? <laughs> Bright lights, here I come. Go right ahead. They're not going to ditch me. You're in the ditch already, baby. They won't take me back. Ha <laughs> ha, you got me crying. I'll fix you. I tell them you're running out in the grass. Yes, you will. If I yell it so loud, they'll hear it back on State Street. Maybe I'll have to touch you now. Touch me and I'll tear your eyes off. All right, baby. I've had enough today. What's happened? What I saw in that truck. It all adds up to one thing. No matter what I gotta do for it, I gotta get rid of my baby. You. Yeah. Leave me behind us, you dirty. Frank. You're gonna be smart, eh, baby? Frank, <laughs> behind us. What are you talking about? Behind us. Huh? Car. Uh, so what? Him. Ah, oh, you're really crazy. Him, I tell you. Following us. Nobody following us. Getting near a town. It's another car. So what? Oh, no. Shut up. I can't make it. I'll kill you. Oh, that's where you can. It's no good. Getting closer. What? Closer, I tell you. No. Go faster. Stop He's closer, Frank. He's closer. You're all crazy. You're trying to drive me crazy. Frank. It is the red truck. It's him. No, stop saying that. It's him. Him. No, no. Look at it. Ah. Faster. Ah. Go faster. Ah. 
him. Yes, yes. Don't let him get me, Frank. Faster. He's getting closer. Faster. I can't. Put down to the floor. Faster. Can, can. Frank, he's right behind us. Got it right over it. Back. No. On top of it. Go back. Frank. Take the wheel. Frank. He's got to drive. All right. <laughs> Sergeant, this is Reardon. About that crash just outside Nogales. Uh, yeah, I've been all over it, and it still don't make sense. Empty road, no skid marks, no nothing. And it looks as if this sedan must have been the only car on the road. Yeah, and yet it's crushed flat like, well, like a 75-ton tank rolled over it. Well, I'm telling you the truth, Sergeant. The whole automobile crushed flat like a, a tin can. And then it must have caught fire. No. What was left of them was burned to a crisp. Huh? Yeah, Yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm coming in. Uh-oh, uh, one thing more, Sarge. Uh, there's a funny thing. All around the car where we found it, there are hoof prints. Y yeah. Yeah. I said marks like hoof prints burned into the macadam of the road. No, sir. I'm cold sober. As sure as I'm standing here, I'm telling you the car was crushed flat and the bodies burned and the marks like hoof prints burned in the road like, well, like something walked around watching them burn. Okay, okay. I was just telling you. It don't mean a thing to me. What the devil? Um, Mr. Oblick. <laughs> yes? The, uh, story. What was in that truck? Was it really, uh, I mean, was it, uh, really? Well, I can only repeat the title of tonight's story. What the devil? Was it really? How should I know? Oh. And I suppose you don't even know about next week's Life Out story. Oh, but I do. You like worms, Mr. Lamond? What? Worms. Fat, crawly worms. You know, the kind that uh, slither all over your lawn at night. The squirmy ones that hang on the end of your fish hook. Well, next week our story is going to be about worms. The little insignificant worms who, one strange night, decided that they were insignificant no longer. Or perhaps you think the... Uh, Impossible is always impossible. Mr. Oblick, the longer I live, the more I become convinced that nothing is impossible. Of course, not everyone feels that way. I'm thinking now of the thousands of people who go on day after day leading a miserable half-existence. Thin and weak and nervous, run down, always tired, because they figure nothing can help them. Well, friends, if you're one of those thin, tired, nervous folks, and if it's due simply to vitamin B and iron shortage, Believe me, there is help for you. Ironized yeast supplies both these vital substances. It's helped thousands who needed them. Helped them so amazingly that ironized yeast is actually sold on this no-risk money-back basis. If you're not 100% pleased with the result, the cost of the first package will be refunded to you in full by the Ironized Yeast Company, Box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. And now, Mr. Obler. Will you tell us more about next Tuesday night? Yes, but uh, not too much. The story is called The Revolt of the Worms, and in it we ask a very simple question. What would happen to our Earth if suddenly the earthworms, yes, the simple little earthworms that turn over our soil, suddenly grew and grew until... Uh... <laughs> but uh, that's next week. Is greater than you think. This summer's clothes may have to last you several summers more, so give them the care they need to last longer. 
before packing those clothes away for winter, rid them of grease spots with Energene cleaning fluid. Moths attack grease spots first, you know, and if neglected, grease spots may penetrate deeply into the fabric and prove harmful to the cloth. So get out the Energene and get rid of every grease spot on the clothes you're packing away. You'll find Energene cleaning fluid removes those grease spots easily to help make your clothes last longer. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible.